Alright, hey guys, so today we're going to do some file upload stuff, and the first thing you'll notice is that I'm back on my Mac, and that is because I just have more files on this thing, so I could show this example. Also, this is going to be a tangent from our actual e-commerce um, API, because this is not the solution that I would like to use, especially because um, I want to get into a deployment and a cloud solution for file uploads, but this is going to be just um, an example of how to do file uploads for a direct um, storage on, on the same disk as your server. Okay, that's a lot of um, fluff, but let's let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is um, uh, make sure that everything is correct on this environment because this is a different computer, so I'm just going to start the server and make sure my Mongo is working. Cool. Okay, cool. Um, so in the main application file, um, we don't actually have to be here yet, so first we need to go to app module. Oh, and then as a side note, I'm going to have this video separate from the e-commerce course. So I'm not going to touch the uh, individual directories. So we're just going to work inside a app module, service, and controller. So first, we're going to include a um, uh, module called Molter. Molter module. And we're going to register um, the destination of all of our uploads. And I have to remember the specific path thing because I uh, ran into some permission problems earlier. So destination is going to be dot slash uploads. And it's a little tricky because it actually goes into the root of our project, not the source directory. So it goes here. And that should be good. And that's all we have to do to set up. Uh, Malter. Um, and Malter, if you don't know, is an express middleware for file uploads. So, yeah. Um, and then in App Controller, I'm just going to make a new route, which is going to be a post route. And we're going to use a interceptor called. Uh, this has a long name, so it's. Well, first we have to use the interceptors. And the interceptor that we want is um, it is the files interceptor, and we're gonna pass it the name of the file. And I'm just gonna uh, I'll just name it image, and this is spelled wrong. And then your function you do call it whatever, but I just call it upload file. And it has the decorator of uploaded file s. So we, it's expecting an array of files. And uh, for now, we're just going to console log the actual file. All right. Uh, buh, 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 buh. And then now we're going to use Postman. I've already selected a file. This is just the the Nest.js image logo. So let's send that and we're gonna go to the root of our API because that's where the post route is. And we'll just send a post request. And we get nothing back because we're not returning anything out of that function. But we are logging it and in our print statement we have the actual file object. So, 7-bit encoding, logo, blah, blah, blah. And then we have, in the in our uploads, a new file. And um, if you open this in Finder, you'll actually see that this is the image that we uploaded. So, yay! Now, the, the last thing we need to do is actually serve up the image. I'm going to close all these windows. Um, Did I? Yeah, so I want to do a return res.send file. Res. Alright. 
But to get access to the response object, we're gonna have another decorator called response or just res. Then we can do res dot send file and where do I call this? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, this is the wrong one. I forgot. So I actually made another route, which is a get route, and which takes in a parameter of um, the image path. And let's just call it C uploaded file. Right here is where we want the response object. And we also want the param so we know what file to look at. So param and the param is image path. And I'm just going to call it image. And in here, we can just do a res.send file. So very web 1.0 type stuff. Um, <clears throat> we're going to send the image. And it's going to come from the root of the directory called uploads and then this is a absolute path relative path? I don't remember it, it's a it just that's where the root of root directory of where this image lives and uh, I'm just gonna get the ID so we could actually get it correctly and we're gonna switch over to um, this. So we're going to go to that path and we should get the image. And it works. Um, which is weird. I thought I had to do something else. Well, alright. Uh, so this is how you have um, file uploads using disk storage for your server. I'm going to do another video going over cloud storage since I want to get into, I want this application to be deployable. And it's, if you deploy a server where you're having this storage, it's going to blow up eventually because you don't have enough um, storage space. So I'm looking into uh, Google Cloud data storage. I believe and see how that works but um yeah that's what i'm gonna be looking that's what you guys can look forward to in the next video so yep anyways i'll see you guys next okay before i go i just want to mention that the documentation for file uploads on uh this is on nest.js um if you scroll down it'll tell you that you can also configure multer uh with the Multer options, uh, which you can look at their GitHub, which you can have destination or storage or all of this. And then I'm also going to link in the description the a Stack Overflow thing of an example of how it would work in Nest.js. Because uh, Nest.js doesn't have a sample or example code for this specific use case. So. I will provide that in uh, in the description. And um, yeah. All right. Now I'll see you guys next time. Bye.